I'm JC with FX Insights, the creator and developer of TradingView Toolkit, in focus the Euro US dollar. We're looking here at a 15 minute chart. I've actually made a trade entry, short Euro US dollar at the 112.87 level. A few things we're looking at. So what I'm going to do is just kind of go through it without anything on the chart and then I'll pro pull up the CIS GG Prometric algorithm for the TradingView Toolkit, and then we'll trade with it the rest of the time. But I want to mark some key levels using some of the pro trader and pro trading methodologies, the pro trader candlesticks, and uh, some of the pro trading principles. And then as we're waiting on this trade to develop, I'll just sort of walk through that and, and we'll talk our way through it. So Euro US dollar in focus, we're short at 112.87. A couple of reasons for that is we have a diamond pattern right here at the 112.86.6 level on the five minute. We have a diamond pattern on the five minute all the way down to the 112.83 level. And I'm just gonna mark these. have a little bit of an inside bar breakout here and I think that's going to fail on that five minute. We also have a diamond pattern at the top at the 112.87 level where I entered the trade. And then there's a couple of market making areas but I'll go over that here in just a little bit. So look at this 15 minute, we had an arrowhead at the top, had it break down, it already broke down below the low of this 112.86, but I'm going to go ahead and mark that level. Another little inside bar here on the 15 minute. <clears throat> and now we'll go through and look at our one minute chart. So there's quite a bit on this one minute chart, but what I'm going to do is sort of go back through it. And there's a lot of diamonds at the top. See we had a diamond at the top up here, but I'm going to go down below where we're at. We have a diamond pattern back quite a ways at the 112.85 level. So there's a diamond right there. 112.85 and a half. And a diamond pattern, even though there's a tiny little tick of a doji there that's a diamond pattern at the 112.82 level so let's go back and take some we got one two three on the one minute all bearish showing trading all the way down to 12.82 when I go to the five minute let me zoom this in See everything. So we're just kind of stuck just a little bit above our trade entry there at one twelve eighty seven. So we had a nice bullish uh, all for one pattern off the very bottom on the five minute chart got down to that 112.76 and all for one pattern came right up through this range broke out to these highs and then we got up here and we had 
this diamond pattern at 112.83, showing trading below there. And then the market tried to push higher. And when it did, it got into a situation where there was no capital performance. It started to create an inflationary pressure. If you will go to youtube.com slash user slash CIS trading, there are videos there for the pro trading candlesticks. There are five different candlestick patterns. Those pro trading candlestick patterns have to do with capital performance. They are capital performance patterns. There's the diamond pattern, the all for one pattern, the spirit pattern, the pin stock pattern, and the arrowhead pattern. And all of those patterns have to do with capital performance. And then I take those principles and I apply them to pro trading on a chart. And so when we see those patterns, it has to do with capital performance. When we get this diamond pattern, it tells us that capital needs to be below 112.83 and then become productive again. Instead, it tries to push higher, and now we're in a situation where it's very unproductive. You can go through and you count all of these lines. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bearish signals. We're currently on an inside bar on this five minute candle, have about 30 seconds left. So it looks like we're going to have an inside bar right here at the top looking for rather a breakout above the high or a break down below that low. We do have a lower low on our swing lows. That's important, but mostly I focus on candle by candle trading. So we have a whole series, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven total pro trading price action patterns with these capital performance patterns that show bearish signals from this 112.87 level all the way down to this 112.82. Now it's just five pips on a five minute chart and it might take an hour before we get those five pips just looking at the capital performance and the price action where it is. Take a quick look at the 15 minute chart. You can also go to cisevents.wordpress.com and when you get there you can check out all the information about the pro trading seminar and some of the history of Great Gatsby Pro Trader and the Pro Trading Method is also there as well as a lot of information from videos watching live algorithms function, live indicators function from both Thinkorswim Toolkit and TradingView Toolkit. If you go to youtube.com slash user slash CIS trading or cisevents.wordpress.com, if you go to either of those websites, there is a video available on the front page of the website or at the top of the YouTube page. It's one hour long, but it goes over everything about TradingView Toolkit. So you can see what the whole uh, toolkit is, how everything works, and it's about an hour long. It's worth the time. Absolutely worth the time. All right, so I'm going to turn on our CISGG Prometrics algorithm. For trading view toolkit and we can go through and sort of look at just those signals sort of a very quick view So looking here at the 15 minute chart, <clears throat> we have some diamond price action, not a true diamond pattern there, uh, but very close. We've already had our breakdown before our arrowhead pattern, but you can see that as price moved up, as soon as we got to a place where at the, at the very high, 112.87.9, when it made its high close, right away the pro metrics knows that there's some pressure there to the downside right away. Bullish candle, 
a little bullish hop in right at the very top the highest close at 112.879 and we got, we got a sell signal on our arrows even though our pro trader candlesticks in the algorithm are still bullish and green but our algorithm step came down a step and that's a sign that there's some bearish pressure there and a lot of that has to do with those non uh, pro trading patterns for the capital performance that signal a bearish uh, trade down to that 112.72 level basically we need to get down to those levels before capital will really perform now once it gets down there there's a good chance that it could reverse and take off all the way up to you know possibly the 113.12 area again when you look at CISGG Prometrics algorithm for trading view toolkit all of the candlesticks are the Great Gatsby Pro Trader candlestick signals. So if it's blue, it's a sell signal. If it's green, it's a buy signal. Whereas if I turn it off and disable it, if I disable the algorithm, these candles are just colored based on whether the close is above the open, that's green. If it closes below the open, that's blue so a little bit different I take the pro trader value and the core value in CIS GG pro metrics uh, algorithm from the great Gatsby pro trader candlestick system and that's how we create those candle colors you have the buy sell arrows green buy blue sell and you have the algorithm levels now typically with the algorithm once price is below the algorithm and the algorithm goes up that's typically a bullish signal so that's typically a bullish trending signal all right anytime that the price is below the algorithm step and the algorithm step is higher there are quite a few signals for the CISGG pro metrics algorithm there's actually Five signals for the CISGG Pro Metrics Oscillator, which is in the TradingView Toolkit. When you go to youtube.com slash user slash CIS Trading and you pull up the one hour video, it's the premiere video on my YouTube page. When you go pull that video up and you watch that video, I go over the five signals for the CISGG Pro Metrics and go over the algorithm signals and I'll touch on some of those as we sort of walk through this trade again we're short at 112.87 looking for a move potentially all the way down to 112.82 very quickly I'm going to go to a longer time frame and we'll work our way back so on the daily you can see there's sort of a red carrot there. I have an idea that I posted Friday, Saturday over the weekend for the Euro US dollar trade short on a diamond pattern at the top. So there was a diamond pattern right here inside bar, outside bar, inside bar. We had a diamond pattern with a break below 113.46 and it was trading up at the 113.70 level. So if you shorted that trade 113.70 it was a short all the way down to the 112.90 region which is where we would have had a pro trader exit on that we had a pro trader exit at 113.40 also we have two exit criteria so initially that trades from 300 pips or 300 dollars 30 pips all the way to 800 dollars 80 pips was what the potential was on that first of day first of week short euro US dollar for this week and you can look at that right here on a weekly don't have anything right now on this daily chart as far as any significant signal except the developing inside bar we have a slot uh, a buy signal on our pro metrics but still a bearish condition Anytime those pro metrics are below us, that's 
typically bearish because once price starts to move down, if we break this low, the pro metrics move this way down here to around the 112 even area. Looking at the four hour, there's something very significant on this four hour, so I'm going to mark it. It's actually a very bullish trade looking at the four hour because we have a four hour diamond pattern intraday previous day above the 113.12 area is where we're looking the low of that was at 112.71 so if you were to get in that trade at the close of that diamond pattern it's a long from 112.76 so some of this move upward sort of signifies that bullish pressure on that reversal diamond pattern on that euro US dollar four hour chart. We are short, but it's a short term trade based on just some intraday short term signals with nine different bearish conditions showing. So we're going to take a look at the hourly chart, see what we see there. A diamond pattern developing on this hourly chart, but we have about 35 minutes still remaining. So we have inside bar, outside bar, inside bar. That's a diamond short showing trading down below the 112.85 area. Again, we're short from the 112.87. This is a typical type of spirit, type of price action. You have a peak high on a bearish low pin. And in this market making area, you can see that we've moved right up into that market making area. And a lot of times what happens is you get a spirit type of price action where it comes back down. We do have this four hour diamond and that's significant, but looking at it, there's a potential that it might just pop right up there, get above it and then come back down. But short term, I do expect this trade to come right back down at least to this 112.82 area. But we'll watch it and see. Short from 112.87. Look at this 15 minute chart. Go to this one minute, you see this right here on this peak high. One of the signals for the CISGG Prometrics algorithm for TradingView Toolkit is when you have a peak high on the algorithm and then the third bar, so the peak high is bar number two, always. Peak high, peak low, that's bar number two. If the third bar, the next bar, moves beyond bar number one, so if the peak is always bar number two, you go to the previous candle. If the third metric moves beyond that level, that's considered a prometric reversal. So we have on this one minute, we have a prometric reversal to the short side. And we're probably going to see that play out here soon. Probably at least down to this 112.86.6 area. So that's what I see right away on that one minute. I'm just going to cycle back through time frames real quick and go over some different things. Right here, we had a prometric reversal in the five minute earlier when it came down to this 112.87 area, and you could see it broke down and traded all the way down to this 112.856. Not much in gains, but that's what the market depth is. You know, it's eight, nine o'clock at night, and right now that's all that, that's in the market. Look at this 15 minute. I don't see any significant reversals on the pro metrics. I don't typically use a 15 minute chart, one five hour typically. When you look at this hourly chart, we had a significant uh, pro metric reversal. Uh, one of the signals, there's a scalp signal when you make a peak high 
or a peak closing high, but the pro metrics is a lower high than the previous high. So here we come up, we make a high. It's real divergence. It's not divergence on an oscillator. It is real capital divergence. It means that price moved way beyond capital performance. So the pro metrics sort of gives you an idea of what the capital performance potential is. So we make a peak high and we take that pro metric high and when we come down and we make another peak high in price or another higher close but the pro metrics is lower than the previous peak that's a reversal signal that's a that's a, a what we call a one step scalp that's there's two one step scalp the higher close one step scalp and the higher peak one step scalp it's when price is a higher close or a higher peak but the pro metrics algorithm is in a lower peak position so that's one signal there which is a short on this bearish low pin and that played out and then we got a pro metrics reversal now the pro metrics reversal never played out that would be a short down below the 112.72 level but it never really played out it just dipped down just a little bit and then went right back up and then we've kind of got stuck here in sort of capital non-performance land for the last three hours you can see that with these three uh, doji spinning candle spinning candle in this diamond pattern cis diamond pattern at the top of that little up take a look at the four hour again see if we see any pro metric significant signals there so here we had a peak low came down and made a peak low but look at where the pro metrics algorithm is not a peak low that's real divergence right away you see price move higher you can see that see where price moved up and price moved up it's because of that divergence and then it tried to come down again not quite a peak close so that's really insignificant but this one was when it came down here toward this low look at where the pro metrics are look at where the previous peak is and we're making a new low so that's a that right there's a peak low pro metric one step scalp on this candle if it closes lower so we have the lowest close we look at this lowest close right here that's the lowest close where are the pro metrics they're higher that's a peak close one step scalp method and that's why we had a little bit of a pop and then once we got up above this 85 level that's where we were looking short so we're short from 112.87 off about a pip and a half Quick look at the daily, see what kind of signals we have on that daily chart. So here's our diamond pattern. We had a prometric reversal on that diamond pattern, and it didn't follow through until four days later. But we did have a CIS trading a call on this trade with a short from over the weekend. So we had that before the market opened on Sunday. And so as soon as the market opened, it was time to get short for this week. And right away, not much of a move, but it's still 80 pips. Uh, and 80 pips is $800 right away. And a chance to exit that trade and then look at a potential re-entry, either short or reversal to the upside. A reversal to the upside is possible with this four-hour diamond once again because it shows that we need to get back above 113.12 and what can happen is we can pop right up above that 113.12 and then come crashing right back down with market depth that's possible you can see evidence of that non-performance in capital once we got up above this 185 area and we had all those pro trading price action patterns that signal poor capital performance above that 185 level another little pop off about two and a half pips not too concerned about it 
it looks worse than it actually is on the one minute chart so we're right up uh, at a new high on that one minute nice little move there not too concerned about being off two and a half pips not with all of this I think this would fail this would be another great place to enter this trade 112.89 and a half diamond pattern right here at the top and it went right against it so it's a great opportunity to get a great short position at this 112.89.5 on this five minute there's another diamond pattern right there at 112.87 right at my entry and an arrowhead pattern see we have this up move but they're all right there at the same price level so you have two confirming signals showing some bearish pressure just watch and see if it doesn't come off this 112.89 and a half 112.90 area and doesn't hold Something's not going to be right about the capital performance above these levels. Yeah. Quick look at the monthly on the Prometrics algorithm. No real Prometrics reversal. We'll have some diamond like price action, but it's not a true diamond pattern down here at the bottom. I do have a long term monthly arrowhead that shows some trading way up above 118.50. The only concern is initially is the we're in a consolidation phase with very little capital performance whatsoever in this euro. And as the euro starts to move up, its ability to perform economically has to produce a return on capital to justify that 118.50 level. It will eventually, regardless. Uh, technically, this chart will zoom right up through this 118.50, but there's a chance without any significant confirming reversal signals on any of our pro metrics or in any of our pro trading principles other than this arrowhead. Since it's trickled lower and just sort of struggled, that's why when it tries to move lower, it really can't. As soon as it starts to move lower, there's some pressure there, but there's a chance we could see a, a move down toward this 111 to this 109 region before it does turn around and go back up to this 118.50. But long to 118.50 is a great long-term trade. It will get there, and then it eventually will get up to this 120.50 area on this arrowhead pattern right here in this cluster. That's an arrowhead pattern. You can look that up on my YouTube page. So there we are. We're at that 1290, and we're going to start seeing some bearish signals now. And you can see that right away. That's a prometric reversal in the one minute, so great trade entry at that 112.89.5 uh, to 112.90. An excellent place to get in. I'm short from the 112.87, so I'm off about three pips, but I'm not concerned about it. All of this is a move against capital performance with uh, some shallow market depth, so I expect all of the strength to push right back down to these levels around the 112.82. This is a great short opportunity. A little inside bar there. Uh, that just broke an arrowhead type of pattern. That's a prometric reversal. You can see that price come off right away on that one minute. So what CISGG Prometrics algorithm for TradingView Toolkit does is it takes the CISGG Prometrics, it takes CISGG ProTrader, CISGG Pro action, which is the market depth, which you'll see at the top of the chart. It takes those signals and it calculates out all of those metrics and puts it together to where it's measuring 
the level of potential capital performance, whether it's increasing, decreasing, where that level might potentially be. So it's a leading indicator. For example, on this move here, when it started to move up on this one minute candle, this is a potential performance target for the next candle. When this candle moved up here, look at where the prometrics are. That's a potential performance target. You see where it went right up to it? Same thing here. And, but once it gets up there, you see how we're starting to fail. We have a nice little diamond pattern right there at the top of this one minute. Really trying its best to get up to this 112.91. And there it goes. And right then, you can see it kind of come off because that's the target. Then this step is a leading indicator. And the algorithm is measuring the actual capital performance relative to the price movement. So if you it looks like capital is not going to perform like right here where we had some capital non-performance. You can see right away that price moved down and then it tried to come back up, which is perfectly fine. So I'm off about four and a half pips short from 112.87. Not really stressed. There's still a lot short term inside this four hour. That shows some significant uh, risk to that downside. So when you sort of look at the average market depth, if you're looking at the TradingView toolkit and you're looking at the average market depth, we can't really make this, really. Our, there's there won't be any capital performance by the time we get up to this 112.928 so we're going to see some pressure on these pro metrics right away you can see it even in, at the very top of this trend we have a sell signal already and even when it ticks up another tick it's still a sell signal not quite a reversal you can see when it ticks up it tries to push these metrics up but it's it's going to have to really do something significant to try to get up to this 112.94 and I don't think that it can when it gets up to this 112.92.8 there's going to be a lot of pressure there see as it gets close even though it's very low market depth and, and not much in the way of actual high volume trading it's just market moving Right, right away, as soon as it got up to that 112.92 and tried to move into 112.93, a lot of pressure comes into that market on the uh, capital performance. Take a look at what this move looks like on the five minute. Probably have a little bit of momentum on that five minute, trying to carry it through. As you can see, we're way way off we're three pips off on this five minute chart of getting up to where these prometric levels are and the capital performance isn't there there's a whole lot down here saying that price needs to be trading down below 112.82 and we're 10 pips off of that see right away off this 112.92 to 112.93 we start seeing some pressure One minute we have a pro metrics reversal looks like a little spirit pattern we have a bearish slow pin right at the very top and then typically when you have those pins at the top or the bottom price likes to come back into them and that, that forms a spirit pattern where price comes back into them and then we'll start to see a reversal we are at a peak high 112 93 and a half and our pro metrics is telling us that that's 
place to sell right away. That the capital performance really isn't there. Right away, the Prometrix knows that at the peak high, it just pushed up into a buy signal, but you can see that active. Now we're still about three pips off from where our Prometric targets are. And on a one minute chart, the market depth isn't there. The market depth's only about a pip. Maybe 1.1, but really just about a pip. So let's see if we get a spirit pattern on this one minute. I flip over to this monthly very quickly because the way the chart's set up, I can just go straight down through my levels and see where I'm at. So we're we're at 112.93 trading. We have a breakout target on the four hour above 113.12. So there's some cross action room there of about 20 pips up to that level. And then my bearish signals are at 1286, 1283, 1287, 1286, 1285, 1282, all the way down to, let's see, 1280 and 1272. So I have bearish signals putting us all the way down to 1272 from this level. So we're right in the middle, 20 pips up to our breakout high on the four hour and 20 pips down to this 112.72 and we're stuck right there at that 93 level. I think that's where capital performance is going to stop on this one minute chart. Not anything in the way of a pattern there except for the spirit pattern on this bearish slow pin. Do have a Prometrics reversal on this candle showing a sell right here at the very top. Based on market depth, it would put us down around 112.927. So that's down about a pin from right there. Still a sell signal. See how we have a new high, a new peak high. If it was to close right here, in the next 30 seconds, that would be a new peak close, but the pro metrics is lower than the previous peak. And that's a one step scout on the next candle. And typically the risk for those trades, if you're making those trades strictly on the one minute chart, on the one minute signals, the risk for those trades is going to be your maximum market depth whatever your current max market depth level is. So what that does for you, if you're using TradingView Toolkit, you use the max market depth level as your risk. It makes your risk as, as about as, uh, just about as tight as it can be, actually, and still be able to have some room to trade. Got a diamond pattern setting up on this one minute chart. See if that holds. Got about 30 seconds left on that one minute. If that diamond pattern holds, that'll be that will be two bearish signals right off this top. So still holding our position short from 112.87, off about six and a half pips. Not the best trade. <clears throat> But there's not really anything worrisome or of a concern against the uh, pro trading technicals that I'm actually looking at. So we did get that diamond top on that one minute. We have a sell signal there, another diamond top. So it shows trading below 1293. And this is where we're going to start to see some pressure with you have this peak close high and a peak high with the lower pro metrics. It's a one step scalp. You can see one step scalp. So it's a better signal if you get it on a on a move where you have significant market depth. 
So if you're looking at this 15 minute, when you get the one step scout method right here, see? If you were to get in this trade over the next 30 minutes, wasn't much, but a three pip move right down with very little risk whatsoever on the one step scout. But the market depth was still really low on that 15 minute. Let's see if I can find one on a four hour. There's one right here for 13 pips. I'm going to step away from the microphone for just a couple of minutes. I'm going to leave the one minute chart up with the TradingView Toolkit algorithm. JC back on the microphone. So another one minute diamond pattern at the top developing right here. Inside bar, outside bar, inside bar. Mark. 
work that down in the pattern. Once again, back down below 1293 is what that signals. I'll just go through. I can highlight all of these. So there's another one there. So we'll take a look at this five minute. So you can see those one minute diamond patterns, even at a peak high, this five minute chart pushes up there and it's the Prometrics knows it's a Prometric reversal and a sell signal. That immediately capital is not performing as it should. I'll let this diamond pattern down around the 112.83. One of two scenarios. When this euro US dollar is it pops up to that 113.12 area and comes crashing down. Comes down to 112.72. Goes up above that 112, 113.12 area. And then see where we are from there what we look like from there so there's a chance to just go up and come down or to go down up and then another break out to the high and go all the way up to that 114 level or come back down this one hour chart So we broke out of that one hour diamond. We didn't hold that right there at the very end. It popped right out of there. Outside bar break to the upside. Right into the market making area on this bearish low pin. And that's a spirit, a spirit pattern. So we're still looking for a short in that area. 
that's one thing that's tough about managing this position is it might not have been the best price entry in hindsight, but there's nothing telling me it's an incorrect trade. Short from 112.87, I'm off seven and a half pips. I don't like it, but I am. And but everything that I look at, with the exception of that one four-hour diamond, still shows some bearish pressure. Back to our one minute, we'll take a look at the euro and the yen. Have another diamond pattern on this one minute. Shows trading back down to this 93 level. Look at this euro yen on the 15 minute. Prometric reversal. And a diamond setup on this one minute, and there it goes. It just broke that diamond setup. That's an outside bar break on a top tail doji. Now that it's about 10 o'clock, just wanted to check on this euro yen. Watch it for a couple of minutes. Go back over to the euro US dollar. Have some nice cloudy thundering weather here in central Florida. The 
Sunshine State. Looks like it might get a little wet. Take a look at that five minute. Bearish low pin, bearish piercing high. If that was to, over the next couple of minutes, push down below this 112.93 all on its own, that would be an all for one pattern. So at the peak high, at the 112.94.4, the peak high close, we had a sell signal at that level on a prometric reversal at the peak high. The prometrics knows that. And when price tried to even get anywhere, you can see what happened. It's not much, but there's not hardly any market depth. If you get one pip move on this one minute, that's about where the max market depth is right now. And on this five minute, you're lucky if you get three. But it's starting to uh, pick up right there's an all for one pattern. As soon as it broke that low, down back to this 112.92. There you see what that looks like on that one minute chart. Looks really bearish right away. So now we broke down below all three of those diamonds that I highlighted right there at the top. One, two, three. The whole time it kept trying to push. Its capital is really unproductive when it goes against those. And Every time it does, there's an opportunity there to get short. Even if you start it here, you put a small position in, and then it tried to move higher. You put a position in, then you get another diamond pattern, and it goes higher. Put another position in, get another diamond pattern. You get in, then it goes higher. You get another small position in. By the time you do that, you're averaged in at 112.93.9 and it goes all the way down the pip very quickly and it took 15 minutes for it to move 1.2 pips to the upside it's a lot of pressure against capital performance and then it can do this all of a sudden And the algorithm of the market, when the market's calculating out the value distribution of the principal value of whatever currency is being exchanged, so whether somebody's trading euro or pound or U.S. dollar, when it goes to calculate out the value of that to distribute it across the whole market, the market knows mathematically that the capital performance level is way down here. If that's the case, as soon as it has a chance, it'll start moving across that way. It can't really do that if there's an exchange happening at a higher price. But it can if there's no exchange there. It can start to balance itself out. Same thing. It's not just a short principle. That's a long principle, too. If somebody keeps trying to sell, like I have a few posts about intentional devaluation of the U.S. dollar just to make stocks go up. It, it doesn't work but when that happens and there's as long as there's an exchange lower and lower and lower the market will provide that exchange but as soon as it has the opportunity it's going to balance out the value and when it does uh, there's not much that can be done other than a whole lot of trading and 
when I say exchange, I'm not just talking about opening trades. A true exchange is when you open a trade and close an exchange. That's when the value is distributed. When you open an exchange, you're just putting money into the market, and so it's exchanged at the market value, and the market is adjusted based on the quantitative weight of that value in that exchange. But when you close your trade, whether you have capital gains or capital losses, the algorithm of the market's calculating that value. And when it, so when you close an exchange, so unless if someone's trying to sell and they keep selling lower and lower and lower and lower and lower, and there's a lot of activity and they, the exchange keeps providing lower prices, the market will provide that exchange. But if the value is higher, as soon as the market has a chance, it'll just start moving back up to that level. And the only way that it'll stop it is if someone comes into the market with the same type of exchange where it's continually exchanging lower and lower. And that means opening and closing trades lower and lower. The market will provide the exchange, but it's also already calculating out the value distribution. So that's something to keep in mind. If prices move real erratically, like uh, I had a post about the British pound Australian dollar, I think it shot up like 300 pips in one hour between 5.30 and 6.30. Uh, one evening during the rollover, when something like that happens, something else is going on. That's not people trading. That's not the market restructuring its value. That's, you know, the algorithmically, it's not the market just calculating out and distributing value. There's something else that had to happen to cause that to happen. There wasn't any trading that caused the British pound to go up 300 pips in one hour against the Australian dollar. There wasn't a market value that was being sought all of a sudden that the market just moved all on its own 300 pips just to get to where the value that it needed was distributed. Something else had to have happened for that to happen. It's not going to do like that. But as soon as there's no longer an exchange moving against where the market's trying to put the value, the market will start to move toward that value. But it will provide the exchange as long as there's an exchange being made at a lower and lower price or a higher and higher price. So we're back down to this 112.92, still off about five and a half pips. Take a look at what this looks like on a five minute. It looks like we have a little bit of a not quite close. Looked at first like there might be some nice little outside bar on the 15 minute. So that sets up for a diamond or just a complete uh, breakdown again. So if you get a diamond reversal or a long breakout above that, there's not a prometric reversal on that 15 minute, but that is an outside bar. Have about three minutes left on that candle. See what I was speaking of in regard to that spirit pattern with this bearish bow pin. Once we moved up into this market making area, we start to see some selling pressure a lot of times. Sometimes it'll shoot through it and get right up to the top of it and then come back down. But if this is going to be some type of spirit price action, which is what it looks like, then we're going to get another move back down to maybe all the way to this 112.72 or maybe even lower right away inside that market making area there's some selling pressure. Okay. 
Capital Performance Pressure to the downside. Quick look at the four hour. Just to see where it is on its algorithm step. It went right up to it, hit it, came back down. On this four hour chart, that's a spirit pattern where it came right into this market making area on this bottom tail doji came right into the market making area and then popped right back up but then when it came back down we have this diamond with a breakout above 113.12 we're sitting right in the middle of that 113.12 and that 112.72 region still off about four and a half pips on my trade, starting to see some bullish, one little bullish pattern. It's not much. see it's going to pull it right back up it just needs a tick above this 112.92.7 once it gets a tick above there it can continue a little easier mark this diamond So that's bullish. We'll move that up to the high. Above 112.92.7. But the market depth there is very low, so it, it doesn't have to do much other than just get above that. This one too. One twelve ninety three and a half, somewhere above that level. And so what I see is it's about to get really busy. Again, back in between this 112.90 all the way down to 112.80. So looking at our five minute, we still have a sell signal on our pro metrics on our five minute chart. I have this diamond pattern sitting down here below my entry at Our one Hello. minute back down to the twelve dollars. What time are you leaving? Because we just want to let you know we're going to take that long. Okay? 
So when you leave the left side, no, we just don't press the door. You understand, right? Yep. So a significant move brought back down, back down to that 112.89. Starting to see some market depth in that one minute. Still not much, just about a pip, but that's about the peak market depth. Have some peak market depth on this five minute. That looks like on the 15 minute chart. So right back down to 112.88. So we're still just a couple pips off on our entry. We're at 112.87 short. This right here is a pro trader trend. I've seen a couple of them. This one's fairly significant, so I'm just going to... It came right down to... So we get in on candle one. Uh, two can be counter trending or trending, but three and four have to be trending. And so when we're looking at that, you can see it's it came back through and tried to pierce that trend line on that pro trader trend, and that's a sign for an exit if it goes in and tries to pierce that. When it comes back, that's a sign for an exit. So if you were short and you're playing this trade from 112.91 as soon as it got down to this 112.88 and a half and popped back up and it got to this 112.89 and a half once it moved back that's an exit signal because it's actually broken the pro trader trend line and see how the next candle is going to break it but we can start over so this is candle one, and this is candle two. The only thing that matters is one and four. So candle one and two don't have a trend line. So we've already broken this pro trader trend, so I'm going to delete it. And now we're on candle two on pro trader trend, and we need three and four. Candle three and candle four all have to... Both of those have to be trending candles, so they'd have to be bearish trending candles. And you can look at the candle descriptions on youtube.com slash user slash CIS trading. So I'm an hour and 15 minutes into a trade that I'm right back where I started. So I'm just right at my entry again.
so I can sort of see where I am. This is the five minute. This is where we're going to get into some consolidation. If we get down to this 85 to 87, it'll consolidate in there and then break down or we'll reverse back up. There's a whole lot of congestion in that area. I'm going to look at this 15 minute. So that 112.85 and a half is a key level on that 15 minute. So some spirit price action on that one hour. You can look at that chart pattern. Came right up into this market making area on this bearish low pin high. And then when we popped up into it, come right back off to the downside. So there's the five minute. I'm going to take a small piece off on that trade and see if we don't see it push right through when I do that and get down below that 112.85. You can see on this one minute where it came right down into this zone, 1286, 1287, 1286 and a half kind of stopped, bounced between it, got down and now we're down where we have four or five different key levels right there just at the 85 and a half to 86. There's our break. Now let's see if we get below that 112.83 target down to 112.82. So we're below that 112.85. Our next target's 112.83. So we started right here on a counter trend candle, one, two, three, four, and we're still in pro trader trend. So I'll draw that trend line so you can see it. I see this and don't think about it sometimes. So you can see where the pro trader trend line is. It's from candle one to candle four. And that's where we are. Not any of these others make any difference. Just one to four. And that's our tradable trend basis. As soon as we break that trend line, there's a 
we have to start over. So it's an exit reentry type of thing. You can see that in the price action on this small top tail doji here. We had Pro Trader Trend right through here. It came through, it broke it on that candle, and then it's a reentry. Candle one, candle two, and then candle three, that was an exit candle. It wasn't a trending candle, so that was an exit. And I think that's it. So I'm not going to get as far as I thought. But what I was able to do was manage my position all the way back. And not the greatest trade in the world. But what I was able to do was manage that position very simply by just following my pro trader technical methodology hardly made anything on the trade but that's neither here nor there what I was able to do was walk through the trade manage the capital and I came out with a profit even though it was a small profit and I was able to endure some of the risk on the position by just staying disciplined with my pro trading methodology and my pro trading principles and that's all it is you can see where we're breaking that pro trader trend I could see that before it happened and now we're sort of back where it's going to have to reset and start again. So if we do get another leg down, which I do think will happen, when we do, it, it will be after we trade and, you know, re-enter and make another trade. So a little bit of it's anticipation, but most of it is just the pro-trading principles, the pro-trading methodology, and staying disciplined there's not uh, any stress to managing capital there's only stress to mismanaging capital and so with the pro trading methodology you just go by the principles and you can look at those principles this might not be a bad opportunity uh, to examine where we are at this 1285 and see over the next hour what happens and how to play this four hour diamond if it's going to try to push just a little bit lower but that four hour diamond is significant getting that price back above that 113.12 it can do that and come back down but it needs to get back above that 113.12 keep that in mind that's a one hour and 25 minute trade for a very tiny two pip game but what we were able to do was go over a lot of information about the CISGG Pro metrics, some information about some of the pro trading principles, just to sort of introduce a few things and show you a few things on a chart, and it's all good to me. I don't get concerned about the uh, the the stress of managing capital very much. Uh, it, it doesn't bother me very much at all. Uh, I've done something for a very long time, and I'm thrilled at the opportunity to share that with someone so that they can learn uh, something that's never before been known. And pro trading is one of those things. It's a lot of simple techniques for just basic capital management and using those disciplines and principles and methods as applied to technical analysis on a stock chart or for an exchange chart in this case. So once again, I'm JC with FX Insights, the creator and developer of TradingView Toolkit. Make sure to go to youtube.com slash user slash CIS Trading. That's CIS Trading on YouTube or hashtag TradingView Toolkit, hashtag ProTrader on YouTube. And to CISEvents.wordpress.com. Check out the information on Pro Trading. Get Greg Getsby Pro Trader the pro trading candlesticks make sure to watch the one hour video for trading view toolkit and laugh at me for the next 24 hours celebrating independence day 2019 the 4th of july here in the united states of america from central florida have a great holiday i'm jc